Hey, Richly, this sea is um pretty creepy. Are you sure there are no monsters right here to eat us up? Oh, come on, don't be such a timid person. There are no monsters. The Mosasaurus should be dead by now. Um, you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, look, what's that? Nothing to worry about, it's just a plesiosaurus. No harm at all. I, I mean, what's behind the plesiosaurus? Oh dear. Run! Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today I'm super excited cause we are taking a look at this brand new Savage Strike Plesiosaurus. Yeah, this is really cool. I've been trying to search for this for like the longest time. I've actually purchased it. I've placed a pre-order uh, of this on Amazon but it's taking forever to um, arrive. And I saw this and I found this in Toys R Us in my local Toys R Us yesterday and I'm super super delighted and this is like the only one left on the shelf. Wow, this is amazing. So let's check this out right now, okay? So first, let's take a look um, at a box you can see over it. Rexy facing off with um, Triceratops, two buttons right here. I think there's only one, just one button. Um, Savage Strike 4 Plus, Jurassic World logo, the typical stuff. You can see some nice patterns right here. If you take a look at the back of the box, you can see um, the flippers are actually flapping. Paddling action, so that's pretty nice. On the bottom left, you can actually see um, four different Savage Strikes figures you have blue you have um sticky Morlock, you have dilophosaurus and another dilo um another velociraptor i think this is the fatted one not too sure and this is the card okay first let's get the figure out from the box just pull it up slightly and just cut it loose over here Okay, there you go, we can just get this out easily. And first, I mean secondly, I'm gonna get the card out from the box using my box cutter. So please be really careful if you're using this at home. Have your parents to help you. Okay. Really small box. Let's just um Where's the card? It's right here. Okay, let's cut this loose as well. We can just tear this tip off easily. This portion as well. Not a huge fan of how they actually are. Um, let's see. How they actually tape this to the box. Okay, so there you go. This is the Plesiosaurus card. Nice. It has a strength of 3, um, speed of 4, intelligence of 2, and aggression of 4. Alright, this is the Plesiosaurus. So that's cool. Let's place this over here. Let's take a look at this figure right now. Can you move the neck? I think you should be able to move the neck. Let's try this. Yeah, there you go. It's pretty tight. And there's another point of articulation right here. And here's 
the jaw you can actually move it as well this portion can be turned yeah so there's one two three three different points of articulation and the tail can be moved that's nice the flippers as well all four flippers so let's press this and have a look okay so only the back flippers can move the front flippers can the front flipper move yeah actually it is moving as well but only this only this is moving this the just slight movement I'm not too sure if this is just or um, my figure yeah but yeah you can see them moving and here's the code for you to scan in your Jurassic World Facts app we'll do a scan pretty soon okay let's do it right now okay so I got to stop um, the face cam video now okay I am back with the app so let's scan this let's see Okay, looks like it's not focusing, or is it not in the app yet? I'm not too sure. You guys able to tell me? I think this is not in the app yet, which is why you know we have problems scanning it, or maybe the app isn't updated yet. Let's see, let's try this again. Oh, finally! Awesome! Finally, okay, let's let's listen to the roars. Wow, it's beautiful. It is looking really, really beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at some facts about this prehistoric animal. To swim she flaps her paddles up and down like a bird. Her long neck represents half of her body length. Okay, that's nice. She awkwardly propels herself through the water with four paddle-like fins. Okay, so that's the plesiosaurus for you. So let's go back to my collection. I'll just quickly show you some of um, the dinosaurs which I have scanned. I haven't scanned most of them, so this is the plesiosaurus for you, okay? Pretty cool, I like it. Let's return back to our face cam, okay? Okay guys, so I am back. So we're gonna do a comparison with other figures right over here, okay? So here we have some prehistoric flying reptiles. This is the Dimorphodon, so let's do a size comparison. They're roughly about the same size, okay? And here it's a pteranodon. Is this the Savage Strike pteranodon? No, I don't. I don't think so. This is the Legacy Collection. I think I can't remember. Beg your pardon. Um, but this is the Dino Rivers Tapijara. So if you do a comparison, this is definitely slightly bigger. I feel in terms of um, you know, the bulk. It's it feels heavier as well. Okay, because this is like really thin. So yep. And this is the Ramphorhynchus for comparison. It's pretty small next to the ple Plesiosaurus, alright? So next up, I'm gonna do a comparison with other figures. Are the prehistoric marine reptiles. So this is actually a, um, a latest Plesiosaur which I've got recently. This is from Schleich. And right over here. We have a uh, Mosasaurus from Collecte. This is actually a pretty classic figure, 2014 figure. So that's a size comparison for you. It's really nice. And this is like a Chronosaurus from um, Collecte 2017. Um, right over here, we have a Tylosaurus from Collecte. So if you do a comparison, they look good together. And this it's a Mosasaurus, another classic Mosasaurus from Safari LTD. This is from 2010. 
So if you do a comparison, they do look pretty nice together, I would say. And right over here we have another one. And this is from uh, Bully Land, I think. Yeah, Bully Land. This is an Elasmosaurus. So it's a pretty long figure. So if you take a look at these two together, looks pretty good together. Um, where's my human figure? And let's do a comparison with the human figure right over here. Yeah. Gonna make a short little movie with this. And this is the submarine which went down to um, cut a piece of the Indominus Rex skeleton. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the Plesiosaurus Savage Strike Dewar Attack figure. So what do you guys think of this figure? Do you guys like it? I quite like it. So let's press the flippers once more. You can see the flippers will actually move, but this flipper right here seems to be faulty. Is it just mine? Can I ask for a um, refund <laughs> on an exchange? I'm not too sure. You guys let me know. Is this supposed to not move when I press the button? I think it is supposed to move. Did I just break it or what? Uh, I, I'm not too sure. Can you guys please let me know down below? So this is the Plesiosaurus Savage Strike Dewar do not do a attack and savage strike dino rivers. I quite like it. What about you guys? Please drop a comment down below and hopefully I'll be able to get more figures really soon. I'm looking to get um, the super colossal blue. I'm waiting for um, um, what else? Hmm, what else did I buy? Oh, I'm waiting for that new um, baryonic set as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, do give it a thumbs up, share it, drop me a comment and I'll try my best to reply to you. And if you're new here, my name is Dan, I upload dinosaur videos every single day. So make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs in Jurassic World. And that's my dinosaur shelf right behind. And of course, way behind there is a, a row of figures. So I'm gonna place this into my shelf later on, okay? So I'll see you guys tomorrow.